Articles all over the media are proclaiming AI influencers are making well over 10K a month. And well, I had to figure out what it's all about. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to make them. And if you stay until the end, I'm going to share my thoughts on how businesses can best use them to improve their bottom line. Let's crack on. So at the first step to create an AI influencer is creating the face of the influencer. So there are various ways you can do it. You can use Midjourney, you can use Leonardo, you can use DALI 3. Uh, it doesn't matter the tool. All you need is a tool that will allow you to create a face for your influencer. Uh, so the tool I'm going to use for today's video is Leonardo. This is a personal favorite tool of mine at the moment. Uh, it's an equivalent of Midjourney. Uh, you just don't have to pay the $10 per month. Um, and being Discord, this is actually, they've got a web app. This is what the, what, what the UI looks like. You can see the URL up in the top there, app.leonardo.ai. Um, it will generate images kind of like Midjourney. Um, so that's what we're going to use today. <clears throat> okay, so when you come in here, this is what you'll see, and you want to come down to image generation. And I've pre-prepared a prompt. So let me just generate it. Um, and I'll read it. I'll read it to you. So I, I write a photorealistic portrait of a 25 year old Spanish girl with long flowing black hair and striking brown eyes. She, she should have a natural approachable expression and be illuminated by soft golden hour sunlight. The background should be scenic setting, perhaps a sunlight park or beach, etc., etc. Capture this in high resolution. All right. You can see the image is being generated down the bottom. Okay. Um, this is good enough for this video. Uh, if you're creating this, it's the, doing this at home when you're watching this video obviously continue to refine the prompt um, if you want a, a Swedish girl with blue eyes or you want to do this for a guy um, obviously just update the prompt accordingly but what you want to do in step one is get a face uh, for your AI influencer that you got to keep using for all your images all right so I'm going to use this girl she would do all right so I've downloaded it okay step one to complete and I'm going to call her Karen. Karen's my AI influencer. Um, and this is kind of what she looks like. This is her face. So next up, what you want to do is find or create reference images. And so what do I mean by reference images? So reference images are the images that I'm going to take Karen's face and put it on top of. All right. So I'm going to take Karen's face and transpose, transpose it on top of the reference image. All right. So there's kind of two ways you can do it. Um, or get reference images. Obviously, you can go and create some reference images here using the exact same process. So go and generate some Im images that you want to go and put Karen's face on top of. Or um, a bit of a cheat code is Midjourney, Leonardo. They have always have a section. They both have a section. Some of the other tools out there have sections where you can kind of see the community's work of images they've generated. Um, and obviously, this doesn't take using any of your own tokens. You can just come in here and search through um, different photography or images that have been generated by the community and use that as the reference image. So let's say Karen is a fashion influencer, fashion AI influencer. So what I'm doing here is I'm just kind of going through the community pictures here and go, what would I, what images make sense for a fashion influencer to post, say, let's say on Instagram. So to me, that's a pretty cool image. Like I'd see <laughs> that being a pretty standard image um, that an uh, influencer on Instagram would use if they're in the fashion space. What else? All right, so I've, I've just downloaded that. You saw me do that. What else? So obviously I wouldn't use this, right? I wouldn't want to transpose Karen's uh, face on top of that. Let me see. Let me get, get one more. All right, this one. Love this photo. Modern, she kind of like they could be in a New York um, on a New York street. Um, so I'm, that's a reference image. I've downloaded two reference images. All right. So that's step two, get some reference images that you got to take the AI influencers face and going to put that face into these reference images. All right. So this, this face should kind of disappear and my AI influencer, Karen's face should come into it. So how are we going to do this? Uh, there's various tools out there that do face swapping. Um, you can use whatever tool you want to use, right? I've been playing around with this GPT. It's called Face Swap Master by Moju. Um, really cool. So I'll walk you through what it looks like here. So this is step three. You do the face swapping. Okay. So 
Start swapping faces. Hello, I'm face swap master by Moju. He to assist you with face swapping and images. First upload. Please upload the images you want to face swap faces between at this link. Okay. So let's come back with that image. It's giving me essentially a website I need to click into. And what it's asking me on this website is drop the image face, drop the image where face should be replaced. So this is the, the reference image, right? So let me do that. That's the reference image, right? So I want my AI influencer's face to go into this image, okay? And now drop the image where the face is taken from. So that is Karen's face, right? So I'm just gonna upload that. And we'll just give it a second to buffer. Um, this is actually really, really quick. Uh, buffering for some time did it even not exist and I actually don't know how well this, how this performs so, <laughs> so well from a speed perspective. Uh, but right now, there we go. And what you're looking for, for it to process is that you're gonna generate a code. So you're gonna take this code, I'll we'll copy it. After uploading, you receive an ID, copy and paste the ID here and I'll show you the swapped image, okay? So I'm gonna copy that code that's come back. Give it a minute. Give permission. There we go. <laughs> Pretty cool, right? So this is what the reference image looks like. You can see he's got sharper features. And then you can see here the face I created. It's step one, the AI influence face, AKA Karen. Her features, her face has been kind of face swapped into this image, all right? Really cool, right? And you can play around with this and refine it and keep making sure your AI influencers image is like really refined and on point and the reference image is on point, but I think you get the process right. First one, get the AI influence face. Step two, get reference images and then use a tool like this GPT to do the face swapping. And there you have it, like repeat this process over and over again, create abundance of images and start posting away on Instagram and whatever other channel you want to post it in. All right. So, um, really cool technology and in relation to like how I think businesses can use this um, I think any business that has a content strategy that uses models so whether you're like a clothing brand like Bronze Snake so this is a clothing brand in Australia right or like your cafe this is like a local cafe that, that they'll have like their staff and, and they'll post uh, images of people I think Businesses that use models or people in their content strategy can use this AI influencer tech to just reduce their costs. So models cost money to book, right? Um, so creating an AI influencer for your business that you kind of own the IP for can be a really smart way for all sorts of businesses from like clothes brands to restaurants, um, anyone that's using models to kind of just reduce their costs. So not only will it reduce their costs, like you're not actually paying <laughs> a model uh, to do this work, um, you're increasing the output, right? So you don't have to book a model every month and redo the photos. Like you can see how quickly this video has been less than 10 minutes. You just can churn out content on content on content. Um, so I really think this tech, I've, I've titled this around AI influencers, right? But just using this tech as a part of your content strategy, is super powerful. Um, and I think really impactful for businesses bottom line if used properly. Okay. So, all right, that's a wrap guys. Uh, give it a try. Let me know what you think. And if you haven't already, please like and subscribe so you get my latest content as I create it. Until next time, have a good day and I'll catch you in the next video. Peace.